We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. The grace of God is sufficient. Greetings, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I'm so happy to be with you today. It's another day that our precious God has given us. Another day to live to the fullest, another day to press on. My dear friend, I want to encourage you today that God is with you, and God is fighting for you. And because of this, you will be successful. You will win. God is with us, and if God be for us, who can be against us? Victory is ours in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, welcome Him in that place where you're watching in your own words. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. As I share this message today, give my dear friend revelation in this word, and bless my dear friend, and take my dear friend closer to Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, God is with us. And if God be for us, who can be against us? The victory is ours in Jesus' name. We as children of God need to know that the best place, the safest place we can be is close to God. Stay close to God. Pray all the time. Don't quench the fire. Stay in the secret place of the Most High. That is the best place to be for a child of God. I tell you, my dear friend, in this world, they may try and convince you that it's over for you. But God is on your side, and it's not over. The question comes up once again. Whose report will you believe? Will you believe the report of the world or will you believe the report of the word, the word of God? The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 31, it says, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? I'll read that once again. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? My dear friend, the best place that you can be in life, in this present life and in the life to come, is the place where you are close to God, where God is fighting for you, where you have God's divine backing. Because if God tells you to do something, if God gives you a mission on your life that you have to fulfill. The enemy will not be able to stop you because when God is on your side, you are covered. Now, the Bible says in the book of Revelations chapter 3 verse 8, it says, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. My dear friend, I want to tell you, in this season there may have been people who are coming up to you and trying to shut down the things that God has opened for you, trying to attack the move of God in your life and the doors that is open. But the Bible says, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but a little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. My dear friend, even in that situation, understand and know, Jesus has opened a door for you, and he is fighting for you. All you need to do, keep his word and do not deny his name. They will not be able to stop you. The more they try and push you down, the more you will go up. They will not be able to limit your life. They will not be able to stop what God has started in your life. Unless you allow them. So don't allow them. Hold on to what the word of God says. I ask the question once again. 
Whose report will you believe? Will you believe the report of the world or will you believe the report of the word? The Bible says in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15, it says, And he said, Listen all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Josephat. Thus says the Lord to you, Do not be afraid and do not be dismayed at this great horde, for the battle is not yours but God's. My dear friend, as the scripture says, even as it applied to them as the scripture was referring to all Judea and the inhabitants and King Jehoshaphat, it also applies to you as a child of God. The battle is not yours, but God's. The Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Be strong. Be courageous. Be rest assured that God is fighting for you. When the enemy tries to scare you, don't be frightened. And don't be discouraged. When they try and speak to you and say negative things, don't be discouraged. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. They will not shut your doors. They will not shut your opportunities. They will not be able to stop what God is doing in your life. They will not be able to limit you because God is with you. And don't be frightened. Don't be discouraged. But rather be strong and be courageous. God is with you wherever you go. The last but not the least scripture I want to share with you today and then we'll go into a time of prayer is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31 from verse 8. It says, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. As the scripture applied to the children of God in that time period, it applies to you now. It is the Lord who goes before you in whatever you do as you are walking on the path that God has called you on, as you are living your life for Jesus. The Lord goes before you and He will be with you. He will not leave you. There won't be one moment that you are alone. You see, sometimes we have this mentality that the presence is with us, then it goes, then it comes back. No. The presence is with us constantly because the word says he will not leave us, he will not forsake us. But it is important that we stay aware of the presence of God. He will be with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Do not fear. And once again it says, do not be dismayed. Do not be discouraged. The Lord goes before you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. In this season, understand and know. Be rest assured that God is with you. If it's in the Bible, then I believe it and that settles it. If it's in the Bible, that's the report I believe. If it's in the Bible, then it's solid and it's true. You see, all the other information that we can receive in this world is changing. It is constantly changing. Today they say go this way, tomorrow they say go that way. Today they say things are going well, tomorrow they say things are not going well. But the word of God is constant and it's true because it is spoken by the creator of the universe, the creator of the world, the creator of everything that is seen and unseen in this realm and in the spiritual realm. It is created by God, who is above all. And every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now if such a great God is with you, it shall be well with you. Hold on to his word and you will find stability in all seasons. Hold on to his word and victory will be yours. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to thank and praise God and as we discern his presence then we'll begin to pray and I trust I know I believe God is going to bless you so let us begin. Thank you Father for another day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love that is poured out to us in abundance even today. 
and by your grace, by your mercy, we will make it through. We will press on and we will achieve great things in this lifetime. It is possible to do great things when you're with us. We thank you for your presence that is with us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You guide us. You see us through. You deliver us. You make a way for us. You are the miracle worker, our God, who makes a way for us where there is no way. And we lift up your name even today. Be glorified and be magnified. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. My dear friend, God is good. God loves you. I want you to be rest assured even as we pray that God is good. And no matter what you have done in your past, no matter what guilt the enemy may be trying to pile on you, understand and know you can always go back to God. And one thing about God is when we turn back to Him and we say, Father, receive us once again. He can never resist that fatherly love and receive you back. He will receive you and He will change your life. Now in saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Wherever you are, my dear friend, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even today, fight for my dear friend. No matter what battle my dear friend may be facing, no matter what trial my dear friend may be facing, no matter what situation my dear friend might be going through, fight for my dear friend. Let the word be proved right and true in all situations as my dear friend puts their trust in you. Fight for my dear friend and deliver my dear friend and guarantee the victory because the battle belongs to you. Bring peace and bring deliverance in my dear friend's life. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. God bless you, my dear friend. Thank you for tuning in. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you, and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you, and goodbye.